Today, we're going to talk about number partners or the number seven. Remember, number partners are the numbers we put together to make seven. Okay, but today we're going to be using a number bond. Okay, so we're going to be breaking apart that number seven. Okay, we're going to start with seven cubes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in order to find my number partners for seven. So, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of my cubes, all seven of my cubes, and leave nothing here because I know that zero and seven together make seven. So my first number partner is zero and seven. Okay, so for our next one again, we're going to start with our seven cubes, and I'll take one cube and put it in our part, and I'll take the rest of the cubes and put it in the other part. So I know I have one, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. So I know that one and six are number partners of seven. Okay, so now I'm gonna start again with the seven in my hole, and I'm gonna take, this time I'm gonna take two to see what my other number partner might be. And I'll take the rest and put it in the other part. So I have one, two as one, number partner, and then one, two, three, four, five, that's my other. So I know that two and five are number partners of seven, okay? I'll do the same thing, start with seven in my hole, and this time I'm going to take three, and I'll take the rest and put it in the other part. So let's count to find what number partners we've made here. One, two, three. So I have three in one part, one, two, three, four, as the other. So I know if I put four and three together, I'm going to make seven. Okay. This time I'm going to take four, and I'll put the rest in the other part. So I have one, two, three, four in this part, and then one, two, three. All right. Okay, and you can see that three and four and that four and three are also number partners for seven. So let's keep going. All right, so this time I'm going to take five, one, two, three, four, five, and put it in the part, and then I'm going to leave the rest of them, knowing that I have five and two as a number partner. Okay, and so we'll just keep going. All right, so this time I'm going to take six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and put it in a part, and leave the rest, which we know is one. Six and one. Okay? And I can do the same. I can put all seven in one part and know that my last, my other part, would be zero, because I know that seven and zero together are number partners of the number seven. So today, we have worked on creating a number seven using number partners and uh, number bonds.